back, guess who's back, guess who's back, load shedding, yeah, 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 yeah. Load shedding has plagued South Africans for 15 years due to ESCOM's inability to generate enough power to keep the lights on. On top of load shedding, the cost of electricity has soared over the past 10 years. Some Capetonians have decided to take matters into their own hands, namely with solar. We started taking a serious interest in getting uninterrupted electricity at home because we work from home and the load shedding was hurting our business. However, these systems don't come cheap. The entire system cost us just over 200,000 Rand, uh, including installation and uh, registration with the city. We were paying for electricity between three and a half to four and a half thousand depending on the season, summer to winter, and now I never spend more than 500 rand a month. Another resident in Bloberg says solar has been a huge investment. I, I got some horrendous bills, like honestly horrendous, and I just said no, I want to be rid of ESCOM as much as possible. I was spending five to six thousand a month, I'm now spending one thousand. I'm saving four to five thousand. If you assume that I'm saving fifty thousand rand a year, that's fifty thousand times six is three hundred thousand. I've paid off in six years. But what is the local government doing to help residents? In February of this year, Cape Town Mayor Jordan Hill Lewis announced that the city of Cape Town will be procuring energy from private companies. I'm very proud to announce that the city of Cape Town is opening its first round of procurement of power from independent power producers. The tender documents for this procurement will be made available on the city's website today. And in fact, they are already up and available this morning. I to see all of these projects constructed and connected within the next 40 to 50 months. Uh, we understand that the construction period is a, is, is a long period and that's why we've got to start early. The, the city uses 2,000 megawatts a day. Uh, you saw today we are procuring 300 megawatts. So the more that we can reduce our reliance on ESCOM, not eliminate it completely, but reduce our reliance on it, the more that we can secure our own electricity supply and do away with load shedding over time. And the other huge benefit, as you heard the minister say today, is the price. The price of these renewable projects is a fraction of the cost of ESCOM power. Additionally, if you have your own solar power like Andre or Peter, Cape Town says residents can offset their municipal bill by selling excess electricity to the city. So we allow you to run your council bill down to zero, if that's how much you sell us. But it cannot go further than zero. We will now actually start paying people, we will actually EFT you uh, for the power that you, that you sell us. So that will really, I hope, uh, also be, be a game changer to say now you can not only run your bill down to zero, but you can actually get real concrete financial return for the power that you sell us. What about the future of ESCOM? The power giant is still estimated to be in debt of over 300 billion rand. But national government is also currently procuring bids for solar, wind and gas projects, which it aims to connect to the grid by 2023. Until then, Cape Town Mayor Hill Lewis believes it can be the first metro to prevent load shedding in the future. I mean, there's just so much uh, appetite for investment in renewable power in South Africa. It's one of the big growth industries. If, there, if, you know, if, if we could really get this regulatory and policy environment right, I think the investment could just take off. So there's more than enough. The, the issue is not the financing. It is the, it is the process, the regulation, the bureaucracy, the procurement. That is the thing that is uh, taking the time. I honestly believe that the city of Cape Town is on the right path here. Um, if you look at all first world countries around the world, they have this system in place. America has it in place. England has it in place. Uh, most of Europe has it in place. The, where, where you can put a system in like this and whatever spare capacity, you sell it back to the city. Uh, it's a no-brainer um, to sell it back to the city. Uh, it helps you, it helps them, it helps everybody.